Hey you all, peace and blessings. I hope everyone is well, okay? And justice is in your favor, okay? Wow. We're gonna see what the bonus lunar eclipse messages are for this full moon in Scorpio coming up on the 5th. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Oh. You know, it's interesting how I was thinking about doing the fixed signs reading, then the air sign reading, so... You know, this Libra energy is strong. This justice here, saying a lot, okay? You got the hermit at the bottom of the deck, which seems to be very common lately. A lot of inner healing, a lot of reflection, okay? There's been separation, divorces, judgments, legal judgments here, all right? I am getting a Leo energy. There is a queen of wands who is receiving justice you don't have to be um i was gonna say air sign so yeah you don't have to be an air or a fire sign here but there's something about uh recognition or something coming to light going forward something's also coming to light about a queen of wands so for some of you these two people are not one and the same there's a queen of swords here and then there's a queen of wands and something's coming to light the queen of swords is bringing something to light i heard receipts evidence somebody's done uh i was going to say their research but they've also they've reviewed something here okay and it could be during this mercury and taurus this mercury retrograde so take that high resonates here i'm getting strong leo energy um if somebody wanted attention or someone is trying to get someone's attention they're gonna get it and not in the way that they think yeah okay with this queen of swords they're looking to they're looking to win this. If this is a court case or something around that, they're hoping that the Six of Pentacles and this gift is in their favor. So they're seeing, they're, they may be trying to use their gifts. There's an abuse of power here, okay? So, because I do get that this Queen of Wands is in some type of position or has some type of gift. And the, the judgment, this Queen of Swords is calling judgment here, okay? The spirit is like, nah. What's going on? Message, community. Oh, of course. I might as well do another comic update. Okay. You have someone who is not too happy. They're bitter. They want your gift. They want to be seen for or as being gifted is what I'm getting here with the Queen of Wands. This energy is... It's not spiteful, even though they are, is what I heard somebody say. Yeah, they are. There's this envy, and it's, it has to do with a masculine here. Causing despair for a masculine, wanting or even slander within the community. Because now this main female is looking for a change, looking for a change in status. They may be seeking legal representation, and something's going to come to light, and th they even their represent. Okay, wow. Even the representation or the lawyer is going to be like, uh, no, you should have told me this. Okay. you d Or, wow. Okay, so the Queen of Wands gave the masculine something as a gift, and now they're wanting it back, or they're trying to take something back, or something around a gift that was given. It could be to this masculine, from this masculine, some type of contract. And now she's wanting to go back and say, no, he said he was going to pay me back and this and this and that. That's what I'm getting here. All because karma is playing out. This Queen of Wands wants to see this masculine in despair. Wants to see them struggling to balance their finances, their stability, and wants the whole community to be aware of it. But that's all going to backfire on whoever this Queen of Wands is. That's what I'm getting here because this main female in the change, she's seeking change. Oh, and that's what it is. So, wow. The Holy Spirit just said she's seeking change. Not no real wealth. Okay? Not no big bills. But change. So, I'm getting that's a metaphor for how small this abundance is compared to what she could have if she was in her power. If she wasn't in this vengeful energy. Okay, if she was honest. So there is, I don't know if this is a judge, a lawyer, or whoever this is. It could be who they may be taking to court. Because, yeah, there's two different women who could be taking each other to court. And it has to do with some masculine. Okay, that's what I keep getting. It has to do with some type of masculine who he's so worn out and got so much going on that he's not even trying to be in it. 
Mm, this is a lot. What is so small compared to if they were standing, if their intention was in the right place. Okay, I keep getting change. Change. And that's it. I heard double, triple entendre there. What's going on? What do you want the collector to be aware of? What about this message? Community and despair. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Someone is trying to defame this masculine. And I don't know if they have representation or if this is someone who's speaking up like calling this queen of wands out but they've been called out yeah three of swords all because they feel betrayed or there's some type of separation detachment and or this queen of wands oh okay so this queen of swords oh this queen of swords could be very much underestimated by this queen of wands this is someone who is combative who may be aggressive who may be trying to come in and what do you call it? Not just intimidate. I don't know. In a way, they're trying to come in and intimidate and and see what they can get away with when it comes to this Queen of Swords. Because I'm getting out. There's a change in, in position. This, this Oh, wow. This I was going to say Divine Masculine. So there's a Divine Masculine who is in despair. Okay? Things may not be working out as far as employment or balancing or something around a balance give and take giving and receiving appreciation here with the uh i was gonna say queen of cups with the page of cups yeah so this queen of wands could be trying to use love you know could be trying to put on the queen of cups mask and they don't realize this queen of swords if it's a new person who's in this masculine's life if this is a lawyer or whoever it's somebody who is very wise and has been the Queen of Wands. Has, you know, can turn on the Queen of Wands. But I don't think, oh, oh, I heard in more ways than one. So can turn on that Queen of Wands energy as in they can be the Queen of Wands too. They can they can show this other Queen of Wands that I'm not the one to play with, right? But I also heard that this Queen of Wands here may go both ways. And this Queen of Swords is like very attractive to them. So this is uh, this is a lot, <laughs> y'all. This is a lot going on. Yeah, three of wands. Ooh, we all these wands, honey. Someone's at a distance, and someone's waiting on someone else to come back. Is what I'm hearing. Queen of Cups. Didn't I just say? They'll put on that energy, but I feel like it's more authentic and genuine because it is the Queen of Swords energy who who embodies this Queen of Cups. Didn't I tell you something around intentions here? Someone's heart is in the right place, right? The scales are being balanced. Look at the feather and look at the heart. The scales are being balanced here. And the tables are turning into this Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords favor. Yep. Why? <laughs> Someone should have used their energy, their passion, and their gifts wisely. And that's being exposed. Someone is also getting the recognition. They want attention, but the attention is coming towards the person who's not even seeking it. Coming towards the person who is seeking peace. And I'm getting somebody wants to come in and apologize. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. What is this? Yeah, what's this page of cups? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. <laughs> Four of Wands. I heard back home or something around once. Okay, so somebody does want to come back home. Mm. They may have breadcrumbed you, lied, you saw right through it, or you saw something clearly as soon as someone left you and rejected you. Or this whoever this this feminine is here, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, the Queen of Swords saw some it became very clear, Ace of Swords. After some type of rejection, you know, I heard shortcoming but short end of the stick. But it didn't stop the guidance because I feel like the Queen of Swords still is, is very much protected being guided towards God, towards a commitment, towards new, towards marriage for somebody here. Okay. What's the Eight of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Queen of Wands again? Wait a minute. 
So this person could hold on. You can't make this up, y'all. This is just it's giving me Aquarius reading. This person still wants to be just like you. Wait a minute. So I could be talking to an Aquarius with the Queen of Swords. This person wants to be just like you. They want to feel free or at least put on the show, express, you know, and come off like they're creative, like they're this outgoing person. They want to be seen. This person wants to be seen so bad. But this is really their energy. Okay, they're still feeling low. They're still feeling bored. This is another reason. Okay, that's the only thing that entertains them. So it sounds good. We've been getting that a lot lately. With this Mercury retrograde too, it sounds good. But this person is putting on a facade. And this Queen of Swords sees right through it. Like, acknowledges it and turns ahead like, nah, this is not my problem. This is not for me to give, to entertain. So you have this Queen of Wands who is trying to put on the show, entertain, and be entertained. And you have this Queen of Swords like, I'm focused. I'm look, come on, I know better. That's what I'm getting here. Ooh, we. <laughs> Holy Spirit, holy angels, yep. What else do you want the collective to be aware of? Ace of Cups, yeah, you know better. You are giving and receiving towards new, towards what's gonna fill up your cup, not having you feeling drained, right? Not talking fast but not following through. The Six of Pentacles is different from the Six of Pentacles. You have the scales here again. This, the, scale, the scales here. Yeah, somebody's scared of the balancing of the scales. They're scared. Wow. What else do you want them to know about this Ace of Cups? Page of and they're watching. Look, in your new beginning. Come on now. You have the wand. You have this new beginning. You have this chapter. The change. And people are watching. They're not satisfied. They're not satisfied whatsoever. Regardless of what, what show they may be trying to put on. Because somebody's putting on some type of show. That's what I keep getting. Yeah, you have the higher fine. God knows. That's what I'm hearing. God knows. What's the soul journey message? Self-esteem. Yep. Y'all, come on now. Really? I possess the gifts of the soul that benef benefit me and others. So this issue around convenience and what benefits is Queen of Wands versus what benefits and uh, interest this Queen of Swords. I'm getting it's not the same. So... While someone may be trying to embody and live the life of this Queen of Swords, they need to realize that they they possess the, the gifts of the soul that benefit themselves and others. Okay? So, yeah, there's some insecurity. There's some fear, some nervousness when it comes to this Queen of Wands. Don't be fooled is what I'm getting. So, I'm throwing a facade. You hold the key. You hold the wand. You hold the ace. At least two, three aces. Ace of cups, ace of wands, and the ace of swords. Come on now. So you know. You're aware that you possess the gifts of the soul that benefit you and others. This is somebody else's lesson as well. Yeah, death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. I know what I'm here to do. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Okay, because there's a lot going on. In her mind, you got equations, symbols, synchronicities, signs, and you can't tell me that God is not talking to her. Okay? You can't tell me. Look how she's showing up here. Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords, transformation, new beginnings, imagination here. So there's a whole lot of talk, but they're still watching this Queen of Swords here. They want to learn, they're inspired. They want to give and receive because they're bored. They're bored with their own show. Whatever it is that they're putting on, they're bored with it. It's still not sad. It's not fulfilling, right? Look at you, overflowing, cup filled, very much fulfilled on a soul level, on a mental level. There's, there's so much going on here and someone else is not, okay? It's just that, it's that, that's what I'm getting. What's the moonology message, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? What do you need to release? 
the answers you need are coming very interesting so you have this question that is posed what do you need to release and then the answer you need are coming so some of y'all may not really know or whoever this person is i feel like i'm talking to a cross watcher all right or as you're stepping into this hermit energy you know going within separating yourself from whoever may you know always they always come back with an apology or some type of excuse or coming when it's when it's convenient okay when they have something yeah something to ask when they yeah when they want something come on now it's too much it's too much it's time for you to go ahead and set them boundaries communicate them be assertive What advice do you have, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? What advice do you have? The world. Yeah, wrap it up. It's time to wrap it up. Or maybe even protect yourself, you know, when it comes to being intimate. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. Take it how it resonate. Take this Eight of Pentacles how it resonate. Okay? That is the reading, everyone. Thank you all so much for the love and the support. I'm so excited to get back in the flow of everything. And personals, I will be announcing when they are available again within the next couple of weeks. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you have not already. I will be tapping in again very soon. Bye.